All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Halo 2. Last time we completed the 12th and penultimate mission, High Charity, and now we are we're here. We've done it. We've made it to the end. This is the final mission in the game, and I am ready. Let's do it. Doesn't look like it's any longer than the other ones either. I'm ready. What is that place? I have thoroughly enjoyed this game, but you know me, I'm always trying to move forward. The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Okay, so now the Arbiter and the Chief are working together, right? I mean, not together together, but with the same goal in mind. What's this? Can I get in that? I don't... No, I don't want this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to drive. Sorry, it's gonna make me motion sick. You can get in, you can get in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I guess that door doesn't open. Are we trying to get up here then? What's this? As long as they're incapacitated, I guess that's good enough. Checkpoint, okay. Word, now will this door open? Oh, you guys are with me? Alright. No, 
dañado. Excuse me, I wasn't ready. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, big boys, I need y'all to move, please. Get him! Get him, big guy! Yeah, good job. Um, brute shot. Alright. You're with me, right? You guys are with me? Do we all have this gun? I feel like this is gonna end well for anybody. something with more ammo. Maybe I can just take these guys out from a distance. Uh, guys, come on, man. I'm so bad at shooting this gun without overheating it. to re reload too. How long have you been playing this game, Nick? Whoa. What was that? I like that, whatever that was. This guy's dead. Uh, okay, good job. Good job, guys. Let's go. What? Where did my grenade go? Kill those bitches. Wow. 
blast. Jesus. How did I survive that? Is everybody dead? Why can't I have the second needler? I was ready to give up, but no, I don't want to give up. I want the other needler. Thank you. Dual wield needlers is my go to. That is my favorite weapon. It fucks bitches up. Fucking aim properly. Fuck switches up. Ah, shit. Jesus Christ. How many? How many are there gonna be today? Hmm? It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Just... What's my other weapon? Fuck! Happened! I was doing so good! This fucker's out of the way first. Okay, I'm just getting one shot in. Well, I guess grenades have a tendency to do that. I got one shot by a grenade! Bitches with a shield. Yet. I'll go upstairs when I need more ammo. Who's not dead yet? Raise your hand. Brute shot. I don't want this though. Let's take this. Hmm. I don't know. This might be a bad combo. Oh, wait. Is this the way I came? 
checkpoint, no? We don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring, and we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a bed and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. Grab a banshee. Well, can you land it like a fucking adult? <laughs> you guys don't know how to land banshees, do you? I shouldn't talk. I don't know how to do it either. Uh, can how do I get in? I'd like to enter the banshee. Alright, so this is an escort mission, yes? So, sir. Where the fuck are you going, dude? Are you, you're not, are you, are you really, really coming through here? Don't care. Out everybody, bro. Oh, there's more coming. Shit! Anything on the ground not broken? Some of the some of the details look better. See the luster on the ship and the detail of the metal kind of looks a bit better on the older one. Are we supposed to go over this way? Oh, 
I think you got him. Who are these guys? Oops, sorry, that one landed on you. My bad, fam. Now what? Am I supposed to... Where am I going? Am I supposed to go up here? this what's this there's more fucking dudes coming can't get that high how the fuck am I still alive I've been dead a long time ago if this wasn't normal Whoa, what's that? You bastard ass. Where are you going? I can't go over there. What are we? What am I supposed to do right now? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. What am I supposed to do right now? Enter the control room. Enter what control room? Is it this? Oh, for fuck's sake, it sure is. I like this weapon combo. I'm good about this. Tartarus, come out! Any other weapons in here? This is on its last leg. Okay. Come, human. It is easy. Take the icon in your hands and do as you are told. Please use caution. <clears throat> This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. <laughs> Put down the icon. Put it down, and disobey the Hierarchs. There are things about Halo 
Even the higher ox do not understand. Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collectively, no. the seven. Not another word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the galactic center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus. The prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter. The great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophets' escort. Alright, man. Final boss. Right? Give me that fucking sword. We don't melee the melee man. Got it. Calm yourself, Arbiter. Gotta use the environment. Something, sir. That's it. Johnson, I'm on it. Hang tight, ma'am. Not until that brute is dead. Wheel needlers, baby. Let's go. Is there like some kind of can be some timed thing where we gotta get out of here at a certain period? Maybe. Okay, that looks like it went off. Did it not? Or does that mean it's done? Did we stop it? <laughs> What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency Communicating of... with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? 
Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why, the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact. Unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Oh, do we have more? We have more, don't we? Uh, hello? I thought I was going to get the title card for a second. What is this? Oh, okay. Silence fills the empty grave now that I am. Not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask, and you will answer. All right. Shoot. Is Cortana still? Are we done? Is there more? Is this going to end on a cliffhanger? Whoa! Every level of the game on normal difficulty. No credits for me? Big green style, what's that one? Do you ever level one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Did we get any more? Alright. Well, well, let's view the credits while we... Um... What the fuck is this? <laughs> no, thank you. I don't... I'm not interested in Microsoft Edge. Yeah, fine. This is the fucking credits? Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh, forget it. Forget it, forget it. Microsoft Edge? <laughs> the credits aren't even in the fucking game? Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine, fuck it. God damn it, are you serious? Oh, that's fucking horseshit. Whatever, 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 whatever. It's... These are the credits? These are the credits. Give me a fucking break. Alright, whatever. We we did it. We did it. Um, Alright, so what time is it? It's 3 o'clock. Alright, good. Uh, so, first things first, the bottom center of the screen says that we've beaten 97 games in 2023 and 419 since we started doing this way back in 2020. Those numbers, I don't know how those got there, but those are just grossly incorrect. We've now beaten 98 games in 2023 and 420 since we started doing this in 2020. Uh, in 2020. And no, I am not going to make a 420 joke. All right. Um... 121 deaths? How many times did I say I died in Halo? 118? No, 128. Almost exactly the same. Alright, um... <clears throat> so, uh... Here's the deal. I So, um... I really enjoyed this game. I really did. Um... I think primarily the reason that I enjoyed it so much is that the combat is still pretty good by today's standards. 
right? It's it's pretty tight. It's the controls are very responsive. The weapons have weight. They uh, they don't feel floaty or 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 imprecise. Um, this is definitely a good multiplayer game. I remember I never played the campaign when I was younger, but I did play the multiplayer a lot because if you beat somebody, it's because you're better than them. Because the there's no every anytime you add jank, you add variables, and anytime you add variables, there's a chance that you could lose because of your because you're unlucky, right? And so so I can just tell just playing these controls, the fact that they still hold up. I'm uh, you know however many years later almost 20. Um, I know this is a remaster and that there might be some differences in the controls, but the combat is probably about the same. And and it holds up very well. It's just about as good today. By today's standards, it holds up. And that is saying something, because there are a lot of games that don't. And even some really good games, like I would say Half-Life 2 doesn't really hold up combat wise as well as this does maybe i don't know some people might think that's fucking blasphemy but i remember playing half-life 2 and thinking the controls were a little floaty and and you know a little bit imprecise i don't feel that with this game at all so um and that's from the same year you know uh so i i think that that's probably the primary reason that it holds up but on top of that the story by today's standards holds up, which is another tall order because uh, stories in, you know, maybe not everything about games is better these days, but the stories are, they just are. The, it, objectively, there are better stories in games now than there were 20 years ago. Um, there were some good stories 20 years ago, no doubt about it, and this is definitely one of them. Um, but stories, you know, games nowadays have a bigger focus on story because they have a much more cinematic quality because Technically, they can get away with that kind of thing. And so when you think of like the, some of the stories of later games, um, like the Mass Effect trilogy and, uh, you know, um, like um, <clears throat> I've never played it, but Dragon Age I hear and The Last of Us and, you know, st games like that that have a God of War, the newer God of War games that have great stories like this is up there. It's it's got a great story and it does something that's really cool. In that it has the 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 arbiter's side of it. That's a really cool way to not only jazz up the story, but also to jazz up the gameplay because he's got the arbiter's got different moves. He can cloak, you know. He's got uh, di different kinds of equipment that are he's that are usually available. That kind of thing. So I love that. Um, as far as uh, complaints go. Um, Oh, uh, and I'll also say that the Master Chief Collection does seem to do a pretty good job of um, bringing this into the modern era. The graphics do look significantly better, although there is a certain charm to the older ones. And um, I really wish I had the option to watch the original cutscenes. I had to watch the newer cutscenes, and I, I, I think I would rather just watch the older ones. But so, okay, so let's start with critique. So that's there's one. Uh, and that's not a critique on the original game, so I'm not going to count that one ranking it. But I wish the Master Chief Collection would give me the option to watch the original cutscenes instead of the new ones. That's just an aside. Uh, as far as Halo 2 itself, I, there's only one real problem I had throughout the entire game. The checkpoints are a mess. They're, they're Sometimes they're like right back to back. Within a few seconds, you'll hit multiple checkpoints. Sometimes you go multiple minutes without checkpoints. And most importantly, sometimes it is hard to tell how to get the checkpoint. Sometimes it's because you cross a certain threshold. Sometimes it's because you kill all the enemies in the area. And then there's some other third threshold that I couldn't figure out because there would be some times that I would not kill the enemies in the area. I would progress to a certain point. Um... And uh, I or, or I would not progress to a certain point. I just mean then suddenly I, I've just hit a checkpoint, and then the same thing would happen. I would progress really far. I would kill all the enemies in the area, and I would not hit a checkpoint. I just didn't understand it. It seemed there's some rules about how the checkpoints work that I don't understand, 
which is, it's fine. I don't have to understand everything from a developmental standpoint, but like, I need to know what triggers the checkpoints. Like, and, and it needs to be a, an intuitive, it should be an intuitive process, you know, because sometimes I would lose 10 minutes of progress sometimes because maybe I didn't kill everybody in the, in the room or in the area, or, you know, I went down one way instead of another or whatever. I don't know. But that happened several times and it was really frustrating. But that's a little bit of a nitpick. As far as like the big things, like technically, uh, the Master, again, the Master Chief Collection has a lot of that, but uh, it looks great. It plays great, which I think is important because that's not a Master Chief thing. That's a Halo 2 thing. It just plays great. And the weapon variety is awesome. Uh, I think I think that this game is probably better in every way to the first than the first one. Um, I don't th I don't know if I like it as much as Reach. I don't think I like it quite as much as Halo Reach, which is the only other Halo I've played. I wish I'd played that one in order of release, but that was back before I was making a big deal about that. So um, the only other Halo games I've played are one Combat Evolved and, and Reach. And I don't think I like this quite as much as Reach, because Reach just has this, like, the story is so... There's something about not being Master Chief and just being a normal dude, you know? And then, and then you know, everything, I don't, no spoilers, but, you know, all the stuff that happens toward the end of that game. The story is awesome. And all the stuff that happens with Cortana and all that stuff in, in Reach is really cool. Um... <clears throat> um so I, I, I loved the story. The combat was about as good. Um, um, but uh, I think I liked Reach slightly more than this one. So um, I don't know that I'm going to like any of the Halo games more than Reach. Reach was really, really great. But this one's awesome, too. It's really good. Now, is this one going to rank top 100? Probably not. Probably not. Let's see. Uh, so uh, Halo Reach... Uh, ranked pretty high, really high, seven, uh, 137. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's as high, it, and, and this game, I don't think I enjoyed quite as much of that. 137 is really good, especially for such an, uh, a, a game that's so much older, 2010 was when Reach came out. So, um, um, but the only thing that's really keeping it out of the top 100 is A, I'm not as big on first-person shooters as some other genres. Uh, and B, um, it's just, it's a little bit, you know, dated. And I and I, I enjoy the, some of the spectacle of some of the newer shooters. Like, I, I really love Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. I get a lot of shit for loving Call of Duty as much as I do. Not the multiplayer. I don't give a shit about the multiplayer. The campaigns. The Call of Duty campaigns are amazing. Yeah, they're kind of short, but so, so is this. You know, uh, and they're so realistic and they're so immersive. And I just don't think anything from 2004 or with, even with a nice coat of paint on it can can compete with the realism and the immersiveness. And maybe that's just a preference thing. I like the realism, you know. That's one of the very few games that I don't play on normal. I play them on realistic or whatever because they're so immersive that I feel like that goes the extra mile by playing them in, like, the hardcore modes. You know, and I just can't get something like that from Halo, you know. So, um, so yeah, I know that's blasphemy probably that I like the newer Call of Duty campaigns more than Halo 2, but that's just me. Uh, but all in all, great game. I'm really excited to play the rest of them, and I am planning to play every single one of them, all the ODSTs and the Wars and the Spartan Doodads and whatever. I'm going to play them all in order. Uh, I believe 3 is next, so um, I'll get to that here in the next probably couple of months. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was a good game. All right. Um, that's it for Halo. So I'm going to, uh, you know what? I'm, I normally, this would be the part of the video where I would say, well, Halo 2, it's been fun, but we're now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. I'm not going to do that because I think I probably am going to try and get to Halo 3 fairly soon. It's been, it was over a year between one and two. I don't want it to be another year before I play another Halo game. So uh, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to leave it on. But that's it for Halo 2. If you're here. Um, oh, uh, just just uh, real quick before I end the video, just run down for the next few days in case you care. Um, Spider-Man 2 comes out in two days. But guess what? 
on October 20th, and today's the 18th. But guess what? I found out yesterday that Signalis leaves Game Pass on at the end of October, and I don't know when I'm going to have another chance to play it, so I'm going to start Signalis, like, in the next 30 minutes. It's a nine-hour game, and I'm going to see if I can beat it between today and tomorrow. If not, I can maybe maybe I'll play Spider-Man in a day late. It's not the end of the world. I'm really looking forward to Spider-Man 2, but those are the next few games. I'm going to start Signalis here shortly. It's a really cool, like, d survival horror-looking game that's supposed to be pretty good. Um, October 20th in two days is Spider-Man 2. October 25th is a like a, an indie or double A horror game called Stray Souls that I'm mixed about. I mean, I'm not hundred percent sure I'm going to play that, but I might. And then Alan, Alan Wake two comes out on October 27th. That's going to be, a, I'm, I'm a, I've got high hopes for that one. Um, and then, um, uh, October 20, October 31st is Jusant, which is this game. It's like a rock climbing game or something. I don't know. It sounds interesting. Uh, and then on November 2nd is Robocop Rogue City. And then as soon as we beat that, we're going to play Thirsty Suitors, which is like some dating. I don't remember exactly. It looked weird. <laughs> some dating game. Comes out the same day as Robocop. All right. So that's it. So if you're still here and you watch the whole video or even if you watch the very end, Thank you. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me. I will see you on the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.